Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if personalized settings are not responding when you're trying to open up that aspect of Windows through the Task Manager. So hopefully this tutorial will be able to resolve your problem and without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first thing I would do would be to left click on the Start button one time to open up the Start menu and you want to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T again you just want to type it into the start menu and then the best match should come back with regedit you want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator if you receive a user account control prompt you want to left click on yes now I would suggest before doing anything in the registry that you create a backup of the registry state and if you are not sure how to do that you just would go ahead and left click on the file tab of the top left and then left click on export name the file whatever you want usually just putting whatever the date is is usually pretty useful and then just save it to a convenient spot so if you want to save it to desktop I'd probably recommend that and then just would left click on save would create the backup at that point and if you ever needed to go back in and restore the registry, just go ahead and left click on the file tab, then do import, and you just would import that file. So pretty straightforward how to back up and restore the registry. But anyway, once you've done that, you want to expand the H key local machine folder, either by double clicking on it or left clicking on the little arrow next to it. And once you've done that, you want to go do the same thing for software. So double click or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand that folder as well. Now you want to expand the Microsoft subfolder. Now go down and get to Active Setup, which should actually be pretty close to the top of this. So I'm going to double click on Active Setup. And now you want to expand Installed Components, so double click on that one time. So now you want to go ahead and locate a folder that has that parenthesis, the squiggly parenthesis 898202000. At least that's what it's going to start with here and in my case it's going to be the first one here so again 898202000 slash ecbd slash 11cf slash 8b85 slash 00aa 005b4340 so you can see the 4340 at the end that distinguishes it from the one right below it so again the first one here that ends in 4340 I'm just going to go ahead and right click on it and then I'm going to left click on delete it's going to prompt you are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys left click on yes we suggest restoring your computer and hopefully that has resolved the issue now if you're still experiencing a problem I would also suggest trying to plug back in some devices if you have an external mouse or optical drive or so an external mouse or a flash drive, I'd recommend unplugging and then plugging it back in again. I know it sounds kind of obvious, but you know, it's going to be worth a shot. So I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.